Patch Notes, TLDR, League of Legends Patch 4.21, up in this motherfucker, Cassiopeia, for an all-powerful sexy poison kill you with a death stare snake with no feet, she was lacking some early game power, now she'll stack her passive over time, in addition to poisoning champs, so you can focus harder on landing those cues and face rolling ease like you're in a World of Warcraft raid instance, Cho'Gath, don't tell this guy he has an eating problem, you may find yourself somewhere not so nice, when you last hit feast on a minion or monster, the cooldown and mana cost is cut in half. Corky, you've seen him in solo queue a lot. His queue travels a little bit slower now, but the same methodology applies. His Valkyrie and the people who main him are embodiments of whiskey deltas. I'll let you figure that out on your own. Vengeful Moon Lady is getting some love this patch also. As long as you cast Lunar Rush on enemies that have Moonlight on them, you won't have to worry about the cooldown reset getting fucked. Fiddlestick's passive is getting changed up. He'll apply his MR debuff when he deals magic damage or uses Fear, instead of it being a generic AoE. His Dark Wind will also prioritize targets not yet hit, but targets can only be silenced once. You can't run from the fadeaway crows, son. The taunt from Galio's ultimate is no longer affected by tenacity. Why? Those old Stone Cold said so. Thank you very much, you son of a bitch. Jax? Getting buffs? The king of top lane is making a comeback, so don't call it one. Dyrus must have slipped a few 20s to the balance squad. Jace face has a lower cooldown on hypercharge. Ladies. Man, Kennen just isn't that great. And he's ugly as sin. I mean, look look at this. W what is this thing? He's got some adjustments in line to make him less of a shitty pick in this meta of tanky trees and bursty mages. Lucian, my brother. They realize your massive amounts of damage and swagger. You're so amazing that the duration of your passive is a smaller window and less damage early. But I have a dream that you will persevere. Nocturne gets excited now when approaching fear targets. This works with other fear mechanics. Spooky, scary skeletons or something like that. Pork Rider or this holiday season, Poro Rider, starts with a lot more base mana and some damage shifts to really throw our weight around in extended encounters. Unfortunately, this means rest in peace to AP Sijuani Cheese. Somewhere in a corner, Mr. Oink is sobbing heavily. Shen's taunt costs less energy, still hoping on more Mortal Kombat recolors. Shivana's has got a lower cooldown on Q, and her W does bonus magic damage to monsters. Will this be Shivana's rise back to the jungle? Will Goku and Vegeta collect the Dragon Balls to summon Shivana? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Soraka, fuck you. Your rework actually made you more annoying. So take some base stat nerfs and be less frustrating, will ya? Warwick, come on, come on. I think you can blame Foxtrot for this one, maybe. The freelo was nice while it lasted. Yasuo's balls were removed a few patches ago, but now Riot's giving one ball back to at least make him a worthy pick. Five more move speed and a flat lower cooldown on Q at all ranks should make things a little easier. Majin Zack is getting some love. If you hit multiple champs with E, you'll get bonus chunks. Ugh, that's gross. Enemies will also be knocked back a little further when using your ultimate. Mo turrets, mo money. Mo min Minions, mo money, mo deaths, mo gray screen, mo champ farming, less experience. The early game dragon cheese was too real. Low level dragon kills are cool and all, but it was getting out of control. Let's see you dance your way out of getting executed at level three this time, smartass. Snowball control alert. Baron buff has a lower duration. Dragon buffs on the second and fourth stack of switch places. Grom smite buff is stronger, while Krug smite buff is weaker. To try to stop laners from taking your farm, the camps give ten less gold, but this won't apply if you've got your trusty machete. Buying your tier two and three jungle item will give you 20 extra gold per large monster. Item round, go! We've got some recipe changes for your cookbook. Gotta support who's horrible at last hitting? The dark days are over. Ripping pepperonis, Warwick and Fiora. Shoutouts to Foxdrop once again. Friends don't let friends have an item like Feral Flare, at least not as crazy powerful. More mana in your pimp cups, less mana from your voodoo dolls. Everything else in these notes doesn't matter. This has been TLDR Patch Notes 4.21. I'll see you next patch. Oh baby. Yes!